Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. It is gonna be an insanely busy day today, but I'm gonna love it. And we're gonna start with this clutch right here of snakes. This is actually a snow jelly brook right here. It looks like she has a really nice clutch of eggs. We'll go ahead, pull mom up over here, get her off of her eggs really quick. That's okay, girl. Ah, oh, she's all over the place. Don't wanna hurt the eggs. I'm gonna pull the eggs out just to get her in here. Ooh, you're a feisty little monkey, aren't you? That's okay, Mama. You did so good. And this is actually a second clutch, and it's a beautiful second clutch. Remember the other day when we saw those baby snow jelly brooks? This is the Mama to that. So her first clutch is already out, and now, of course, her second clutch. And it looks like a really beautiful clutch. A couple little desiccated eggs, which is no big deal. We'll just put some moss on them to get them good. And let's see, we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve good eggs. Not bad for a second clutch. 100% fertile. Make sure there's no eggs hiding but uh, what a great way to start today. We're actually gonna be collecting some leopard gecko eggs today with Jessica. That's gonna be absolutely crazy as always. I should probably share that with you guys more. So anyways, one more Kaluber clutch and then we'll get over and collect some gecko eggs. Another second clutch here. Let's hope that they are good. And this is actually a really pretty Halloween Pueblin milk snake. I mean, look at this girl. She is really a gorgeous animal. And that Halloween just means that it's kind of like orange and black. There's not as much of the red pigment. And some of these Halloweens come out amazing. I mean, it's big orange orange bands with black bands on them. Some of them don't have any red at all, which makes it really cool. But let's see if she has some good eggs. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's a really good clutch. I wasn't expecting as much because this is the second clutch. She does have one little slugger in here, but other than that, they're really good. We'll go ahead and get these in the egg box really quick. We've got two, four, six, eight good eggs. Absolutely amazing couple clutches when it comes to second clutches. And again, that Halloween is a polygenic trait. So over generations, breeding high orange animals with a little bit of red, you'll continue to get more and more Halloween type of animals. So this should be a pretty good clutch. I can't wait till they hatch. Look who's on God. The, Dude. The snake is crazy. I should have known. As yeah, soon, it is insane. As soon as you open it up, it just goes It just wants out. to hurt you. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's really got me. It really hurts. Please let go. Oh, it's right on the cuticle. Ow. That is. Ow. It is terrible. Uh, anything I could do to help? Just, I don't know. Send, just, send, send prayers? Getting woozy. You just pray for me. <laughs> pray for okay. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. That snake, I don't know what it is, man. She just like turned on. Every time you open up that cage. I forgot this like, time. I just casually opened it up. Yeah. Bam. All right. All right. Well, don't hurt the snake, okay? Yeah, be, you be, got gen it. be gentle. You got it. All right. Got a quick hog nose clutch. And actually, this girl, once again, laid on the bedding. We didn't realize that she actually had a clutch coming. So uh, that's good. She definitely looks like she's got a whole bunch of eggs. They're fresh, so they should be really good. I usually use hatch right when it comes to these eggs. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull them. And you can see on these eggs right here, how you can literally see the embryos. For whatever reason, hognose don't have heavily calcified eggs. So that's one of the other reasons why I don't use vermiculite is because they will absorb more moisture because of how thin the membrane is. And it's super easy. You don't ever have to candle these guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and just slowly take these eggs out of here. And again, they are super paper thin delicate compared to normal snake eggs. So we're just gonna take these guys out. Looks like she's got a really beautiful clutch. Mama, you did so good. Let's see, we got, I think one more egg here. That might be it. We got one slugger here. Just look around, see if she's got any other eggs in here. Cause sometimes they're really good at bearing. Looks like that's about it. We'll go ahead, get her in there, get her all set up. We've got two, four, six, eight good eggs. So that's pretty awesome. Not bad for a second clutch. I have a ton of stuff to do today. On my list is collecting eggs though first. We peaked a couple weeks ago about 700 eggs. It's winding down a little bit, but I'm still expecting to get about three, 400. We'll check fertility actually today and see if we're gonna stop breeding at the end of this month or if we're gonna push it till about mid-August. If fertility is still high, I'll push it. If not, we'll just back off and end in a few weeks here. But we still have a ton of hatching to do and a ton of egg collecting, so I'm just gonna get started. You know, one of the things that you may not realize about salt, the albino alligator, is the fact that she does get some algae on her. You know, that's just part of it. With a normal alligator, you wouldn't see all of the green and kind of algae spots growing. About once a week, we actually have to go in with a little toothbrush and just give her a little bit of a cleaning. It just makes her look so much better. And I'll be honest with you, it does two other things. It desensitizes her a little bit to touch. And I'll be honest with you, who doesn't like a little back rub? Guys, I am glad you're here. I've got to tell you something. What's up? Have you heard about what going down. I think it's September 20th or 21st. September 20th. 
No, what's up? Listen, there's a Facebook like campaign going on to get people uh, together, Area 51. Dude, oh, I did yeah. see this. Because, I did see yes, this. Yes, because yeah. they said yeah. that they can't stop us all. So yeah. if so we all gather there, right. then we can. 400,000 people say they're going to just jump on Area 51 and Dude, find the aliens. I'm going to tell you go? what, they have more bullets than that. I was just about what? to say. They have way more bullets than that. I was that, just what? about to say that. They're Dude, deep. they're up gonna, there. Don't do it, you guys. Don't do Dude, it. You're going to be up there I with a the 50 kill. They're going to be like, I think this Cutting people in half. Dude, people down. I think yeah. this happened a few years ago. What? Yeah. A few years back, someone got killed. Shot and killed. That's true. Swear to God. I, read I that. don't know. Swear. <laughs> Scouts <laughs> honor. Oh my God. Yeah, I think it we up. should go, man. I think it'd be a great event. I think people I want to know if there's stop. aliens. I believe in them. I agree. There. I agree. There's definitely something. I remember when I lived in Nevada, they had that plane. Didn't have any numbers on it all. Had like the red stripe down the center, and it was flying the employees in and out of Area 51 oh, yeah, and back right. in yep, there at yep. all the test yep. sites. Yep, huh. yep. Groom Lake. So, yep. Yeah. I believe. You know, the little exoskeletons. So, let me just get it straight. So, are we not going, or are we going? It, you know what? September it's, 20th? 20th or 21st? I think we should go. You Let's know what? Go, Let's just man. go. Imagine you know what? a vlog that would be 400,000 people. <laughs> Has that ever even happened? 400,000 people. How many in people did this area? thing? Dude, 400,000 people said they're going to go, and I want to go. But how many do you think really will go? But even if Dude, there's 5,000 or 10,000, a, a lot of people. This is a problem. I watch. I'm sure you guys who you watch all documentaries in Area 51. Dude, it's a it's a hell of a stretch out there. It is. So they'll catch you, and you gotta run miles. Look at me. Can I? Have you, ever, oh, run? Have you ever seen the video where the old lady, she just drives through the gate? Oh yeah, I saw that, yeah, Bro, yeah. I don't know, oh. that could have been fake, but dude, that sure. chick, she just goes through and she's never seen again. Yeah, yep. never seen again. Gone. Vanished in thin air. I'm Let scared. me know what you guys think. Have you heard about this? Uh, do you believe in aliens? You, should we go and, and document this? If we go, Everybody that's watching Dude, has to come. Yeah, everyone has to go. The alien human hybrids. Let me know in comments. You guys in? You guys in? We're gonna, we're gonna do this. We're doing this. This is some of our slugs actually from today. There's about 20, 25 here. This isn't all of them. But as the year goes on, we start to see a little bit of decline in fertility. So we'll get some slugs. We still get like way more eggs. I collected probably around 300 eggs today. Maybe about 60 slugs. Things just slow down a little bit as the year goes on. I know it's still a wreck down here, but we got some stuff cleaned up. I'm gonna head off to the Home Depot get us some two by fours and start building some walls out. It's gonna probably take me a few weeks to finish this project or at least finish all the walls and get ready to kind of start other things. Again, podcast room, really cool New Caledonia gecko room. Gargoyle geckos, crested geckos, chihuahua geckos, lychee geckos, who knows what else. I'm so excited about that. It's gonna be like a mini reptarium down here. Again, a podcast room, camera room, storage room. So let's go to the Home Depot and go get some two by fours and a bunch of them. I'm back at the shop with all my two by fours here. We're gonna go ahead and load them in. It's getting a little bit late in the day, so we'll get the project started, but we're probably not gonna get too far finishing up over the next few days. A lot of work ahead, but I am excited to get this new project going. Remember I told you guys that I wanted to have you send video questions and comments to Jay Tomsky. Of course, my boy Jay, my editor and film guy. Well, uh, Gaming Exotic sent this pretty emotional one. Hey, Brian, my question for you is, in all your line of work and stuff, I know it's been your your, your purpose or your strive to bring more understanding and knowledge about reptiles to people and bring the two closer together but with all that being said did you ever imagine that you'd be able to bring people closer together because of the hobby with that being said I just wanted to say thank you because you helped repair a pretty damaged relationship I had with my mom and it actually brought us closer together because of it thanks I tell you what, you know, number one, thank you so much for that. That meant the world to me. And you know, it's a really weird thing because YouTube is amazing, you know? When I set out on this journey, I never in my wildest dreams thought that we'd reach as many people as we have, not only with the message of reptiles, but hopefully the message of inspirations, tolerance, you know, just living your life to the fullest and stuff like that. So uh, did I ever think it was going to happen? You know, I, I guess I never really thought we would get that far. And it means so much to me to hear stories like this. It 
keeps me inspired. You guys keep me inspired. And if you guys have any questions or comments or anything, again, you know, send them over to at Tomsky on Instagram, and I'll try to feature you. But uh, as for now, thank you so much for that one. Your daily update of what hatch as far as colubrids go. And uh, remember that one clutch that I had all these normals, and I said that it was a het plasma, which of course is that lavender diffuse corn. Well, uh, I thought that there was maybe a lavender diffuse. Well, it turns out that it was just this one little baby. There's a couple still left in the egg, but this is actually a diffused or a blood red scaleless corn snake. So I'm pretty excited that we ended up getting that. The weird thing is, is that honestly, it wasn't supposed to be heifer scaleless. Number one, there was no scaleless animals. And number two, why do you only get one scaleless out of all these eggs? What crazy odds are that? So I can't quite explain what this mystery diffuse scaleless corn snake, but I'm not complaining because it's absolutely pretty dang cool. Next up, oh, this clutch is just starting to hatch. You can see a bunch of bubbles and stuff like that, but this is actually a motley corn snake right here. And this is actually that Andre heifer scaleless motley corn snake. And it's bred to what we call an orange flow, which is just a really cool scaleless corn snake. So Hopefully we'll get some more scaleless corns in this clutch. We're certainly going to get some variety of different things, potentially Andres, potentially Motley. The truth is, is that we probably shouldn't have gotten a Motley corn snake from what we actually bred, but that just tells you with corn snakes that there's a lot of hidden genetics. Almost every corn snake seems to be het for something, so a lot of times you think you know what you have, but then surprises pop out like a Motley corn, and that's absolutely cool. So uh, when the rest of these hatch out, it's going to be pretty awesome. And then lastly, that Mexican Black King clutch that we had a couple heads popping out yesterday, Look at, we have a bunch of babies out. Look at how gorgeous these guys are. Hoo hoo doggy, I love Mexican black king snakes. We still have two or three still left in the egg, but the majority of them are out. And look at how big they are. These are big Mexican black king snakes too. So that's pretty awesome. Again, what we do is we get these guys set up. It takes about a week for them to shed out and start eating. We get a few meals into them before we put them up on the website. So hey, maybe in about a month or so, we'll have some Mexican black king snakes for sale. So these are our leopard gecko eggs right here that are incubated and leopard geckos are something that they call TSD, temperature sex determinant. Basically what that means is the temperature you incubate the eggs at determines the sex of those eggs. Now not all reptiles are that way. As a matter of fact, a lot of reptiles you have to incubate at a certain temperature, say pythons, you have to incubate really at 88 to 90 degrees or they won't hatch or you'll have a really low hatch rate. So they're not TSD, so they could be males and females. Regardless, up here that we put our leopard gecko eggs up top is actually about 82 degrees. If you incubate in that 88 82 degree range, you're going to get the predominant amount of females. If you incubate in the 90 to 92 range, you get predominantly males. And if you do it right in the middle, maybe 86, 87, you're going to get males and females. So we actually incubate these eggs at mainly females. So about 90% of the babies we hatch out each year are females. And then we take about 10% of the eggs and we actually increase it to upper 80s, lower 90s, so that we have some males. And that's basically just because, you know, multiple females can stay together. So if you want two or three pet leopard geckos, you can keep two or three pet females together you can't keep two males you could certainly keep a male and a couple females together although sometimes when you keep them like that they get beat up a little bit but the point is is that we want to produce more females than males and that's why we do it that way and that's what temperature sex determination means in reptiles Just because we wrapped up the egg collecting, what was our final total for the so day? So it's 405, which means we're not like dipping yet. So okay. we'll probably actually keep breeding till mid-August. Really? Yep. Okay, wow. Yeah, so we still have a lot of geckos ahead of us. <laughs> <laughs> we do. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or not. <laughs> it is, it's a good thing, it's a good thing. You're doing a great job, so thank you so much. A lot of reptile eggs today for sure. Uh, way to go, Jessica, you're doing great. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it didn't get really far today, but uh, it's still progress. It's the end of a very <laughs> long day, but uh, we started to get a wall up here. We started to get an idea of like the spacing of everything. Had to kind of shift things around just so that things work, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. Spend some time tomorrow trying to finish this out the best I possibly can. Uh, again, within the next few weeks, we'll have all these rooms built out and we can start to actually see how this whole thing's gonna come together. Uh, it's a long journey, but at least we are on the beginning stages of it. And with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and wish you an amazing day. Love your beautiful faces. Be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow. Shit.